Hi everyone. The automotive industry has been active for more than 100 years. Some cars were very important or very eye-catching. Sometimes one car could transform the whole company both physically and economically. In history, there were some historical and important cars that people still appreciate today. During the 2000s, some car manufacturers decided to remake some of their important cars in the past and did them well. Sometimes it made it more beautiful, better performance, and convenient to use. Today, we will talk about seven Russian style cars that are great, in my opinion. Before we get into the video, make sure to click on the subscribe button down below and click the bell for the notifications on any new videos on my channel. With that out of the way, let's get into today's video. Number 1. The BMW Z8 In the 1950s, BMW was a small car company and one of the cars that made BMW famous was the BMW 507. The 507 was a roadster that was rare but beautiful. In the 2000, BMW introduced the Z8, which was a retro style roadster based on the 507. When this car came out, it cost nearly $130,000, which was a lot for BMW at its time. The engine was shared with the E39 BMW M5, and 0 to 60 took 4.7 seconds with a top speed of 180 miles per hour. Beside its performance, it had a scene in the 007 film, The World Is Not Enough. Today, the average asking price for a Z8 is more than the MSRP, and is currently the most expensive BMW model for sale. Collectors still appreciate this BMW because of its beauty of the mix of the iconic 507. Number 2 the Ford GT. In the 1960s, Ford entered the Le Mans racing event with the Ford GT40. This car was a racing icon and won four championships in the Le Mans. This car then made Ford into a performance car for the masses. In the mid-2000s, Ford recreated the GT40 and called it the GT. The Ford GT is a special car. Its strong performance with a V8 engine that takes 0 to 60 3.8 seconds, and with the top speed of 205 miles per hour, this car was a supercar. Beside its performance, the GT was based on a famous icon and looked similar to it. With its limited in production and high in collector's demand, this car sold more than the MSRP. Even today, this car is still appreciated due to its performance, styling, and heritage in the Ford racing community. Number 3. The Ford Mustang The fifth generation Mustang was introduced in 2004. In the previous models, Mustangs had its own body style. In other words, the previous Mustang's design was original. This particular generation of the Mustang was special since they have used inspiration from the older Mustang models to design this car. The Ford's senior vice president of design described this model as a retro futurism, meaning taking parts from the past but making it futuristic. When this car came out, the car sold very well. In fact, this generation of the Mustang have several retro style and homage editions. This generation of the Mustang was very important for the American muscle car industry because the Mustang was the first car to introduce the idea of retro styling their iconic cars for the modern world at an affordable cost. For the current model of the Mustang, they have used the similar idea from the fifth generation Mustang to design the sixth generation. Even today, this continues to be one of the best-selling Fords of all time. Number 4. The Dodge Challenger In the 1970s, one of Dodge's iconic muscle cars is the Dodge Challenger. Even today, the original Challenger is appreciated and is still a collector's car. 
In 2008, Dodge reintroduced the Challenger, and the design was based on the original Challenger. With the retro style design and its strong performance, this car sells very well even today. Today, this is considered one of the fastest American muscle cars in production. For the brand, Dodge dealerships are selling this car very well and help the brand to come back in the performance segment. Like the Mustang, the Challenger also sold homage editions of its car. With the popularity of the iconic muscle car and the affordability of the car, this car continues to sell well and is appreciated. Number 5. The Alpine A110 Alpine was a rare and special brand that only sold in mainly in Europe. Alpine is a subsidiary brand under Renault. In the 1960s, Alpine introduced the A110, which was a sports car that competed in the WRC. With the fame and the champions that it won in the WRC, this car was an icon. Additionally, the styling of this car is very beautiful, and this car has a value in the collector's world. Today, Renault reintroduced the Alpine brand and introduced a modern version of the A110. With the exterior styling based on the original and its lightness, this mid-engine rear-wheel drive sports car is a quick car with 249 horsepower. Even for the car's interior, this does match with the modern standard, making it a car based on an icon that is used for the daily purposes. Number 6. The Fiat 500 One of the most iconic Italian car is the Fiat 500. It is one of the longest produced car that produced nearly 20 years. With its affordable, simple, cute, and compact size, this car was popular for the people's car. Even today, the classic Fiat 500 is still appreciated in classic car world and in the pop culture. The Fiat brand was popular in Europe because of its size in the city and it was very economical. Around 2009, Fiat first reintroduced the 500 to the European market. The design for the car was based on a city car like the original 500. With its retro styling and its compactness, the Fiat 500 is another popular car to choose in the cities. The Fiat 500 eventually came to the United States. Although people do like this cute Italian compact car, but the sales were slow due to its safety and performance. Still, this is a car that people will appreciate due to its popularity in the people's car world. Number 7. The Mini Cooper the original Morris Mini is one of the most iconic British cars that was sold. For nearly four decades, the Mini has continued its production. Its simple, compact, and fun driving experience is a car that is very popular to own and drive. Also, this car gained a lot of fame in the pop culture, such as the Italian Job and Mr. Bean's car. In the mid-1990s, BMW acquired the Rover Group, which included the Mini. In the 2000s, the new brand was called Mini and introduced the first car then. Since then, the brand continues to sell the Mini Cooper and have various facelifts. More importantly, this is one of the few brands that BMW acquires that allows the retro styling of an iconic car and actually made it better to drive and to use it for the daily purposes. So there you have it. What are your thoughts on my list? Make sure to share your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, please make sure to check out my other videos. And as always, please make sure to click on the subscribe button down below and click the bell for the notifications on any new videos on my channel. Thank you.